Hey guys. So let's take a second look at the human digestive system, this time looking at the accessory organs of the digestive system. These are organs that the food doesn't actually come in contact with, but provide different types of secretions to help with the digestive process. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. And the first one we're going to encounter is the liver. And the liver is kind of in a awkward location on this model. So let's go ahead and take a look at this other liver I have. Now, things you can tell about the liver. Uh, on the anterior view of the liver, you've got a rather large uh, right lobe and a much smaller left lobe. They're being divided by our friend the falciform ligament. The liver gets way more interesting when you flip it over. So if I flip this liver over and show you the posterior view. In fact, let's just slowly walk over to the table where it won't fall and hit the ground. And you can see a couple more things. First of all, you can see we've got our left lobe and our right lobe still. This green structure is the gallbladder. Here's the cystic duct leading in and out of the gallbladder. We also now have these two other lobes. We have a lobe up here, we have a lobe down here. And I always get the question, how do you tell them apart? Well, use this mnemonic. The caudate lobe, with a C, sits next to the vena cava, with a C, okay? Caudate and cava. And that means the quadrate lobe, with the Q, has to be the one sitting next to the gallbladder. So little mnemonic device to help you remember that. Okay, so let's pan slowly back to the model. Try not to get everybody seasick, right? And again, here's our liver, here's our falciform ligament, here's our left lobe, our right lobe, here's our gallbladder, here's our cystic duct again. Now over here, if I go ahead and remove the transverse colon just to get it out of the way, you can see some other structures very nicely. You can see that here's the pancreas, right over here. And the pancreas is always in association with the duodenum because this white duct that is running down the middle, let me hand in for you guys. This white duct here is going to empty into the duodenum, into the small intestine. Because remember, the duodenum is where all the action takes place in terms of digestion. We have finishing up of digestion of proteins and carbohydrates. We have the major area for digestion of fats. It's all happening in the duodenum. It's the party place. Okay. So pancreas is going to go ahead and produce and secrete amylase, lipase, and buffers. Liver is going to produce bile which is going to be secreted and stored in the gallbladder. And then the gallbladder is going to release bile into the duodenum. And so this is a very action-packed area. Now, an organ that I'm going to give an honorable mention to, even though it's not part of the digestive system, is this organ right over here. It's the spleen. And it's usually shown associated with the GI tract because, think about when we did scaffolding, there's a ligament that attaches it to the stomach, right? We have the gastrosplenic ligament should be here, attaching the stomach to the spleen, okay? All right, and there you have it. That's the second part of the human digestive system.